Hi guys, this is a tutorial on how to install mods for Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2. So, <clears throat> to start off, we're going to open up Steam. Um, and it's first going to open you up in store probably, so you're going to open up Library. Then you have all your games right here. You're going to right click on Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2. And then you're going to go to Properties. Then you're going to go to Installed Files. Then you're going to go to Browse. This is going to open up all the files that uh, make up the game of Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2. So. I'm going to pop this over to the side of my screen, minimize Steam, and this, so here's that same menu. Um, and then we're going to go to nexus.com to download all of our mods. So here's Nexus Mods, um, we go to Bannerlord here. And I'll put a link for this link here in the description, as well as Module Unblocker in the in the description. You're going to need this to basically unblock all the mods you install for Mountain Blade Band Alert. Um, yeah, so let's first install Module Unblocker by pressing the manual download here. And then you're going to go to Slow Download, unless you have Premium, which I doubt you do. But you're going to go to Slow Download. And then you can download this to your desktop. And then we're also going to install... Uh, this marry anyone mod for Mountain Blade Bannerlord. So you're gonna press manual here, and then you're gonna press <coughs> manual download. And then sometimes it's gonna say additional files required like this. It's gonna show you all of the compatibility mods you're gonna need as well to run your game. You're bas gonna basically just follow the same uh, download steps as you're going to do for this marry anyone mod. So yeah, so we could download uh, Harmony right now but I've already done that so you're just gonna press manual download just like you would do for harmony or mod configuration menu and then you're gonna go to slow download just like you did with module and blocker and then it's gonna download this to your desktop so I have two of these Marion anyone files let me delete one okay so here's the mod and then here's the module and blockers so in our mountain blade banner 2 folder we're gonna open up modules here are all of our mods, as well as the module blocker and Mary Anyone mod I've already have both of them installed. But to drop them in properly, you're going to open up module blocker, and you're going to keep clicking on these folders until it shows you the files that are inside the mod. You're going to go then you're gonna, you're going to go back one to where it's a folder, and that's where you're going to drop into your mod folder. So I would drop it just like this, but I already have it in there, so I'm not going to. And you're going to do basically the same thing for the mod. So open it, open it, oh, here's the files, go back one, and then you're going to drop in the Mary Anyone. And then once you have your mods dropped into here, you're going to open up Module Unblocker, then you're going to press Module Unblocker All. It's going to run a command prompt that uh, unblocks all the mods in this module folder. So once you have all that done, you're going to open up Steam one more time, and... Uh, gonna press play on Bannerlord because you're first gonna need to lastly going to need to enable all of your mods so normally you have all your compatibility mods like harmony I said earlier and mod configuration menu near the top I think it just allows all your mods to properly work together <laughs> um, yeah so to enable them you just press the dot right here next to them so I can enable all these mods here and yeah now they're enabled and once you press continue it should play start your game with all these mods working together. I can stop this, so I'm not going to be playing right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it, guys. I hope this tutorial helped you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.